Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another fun reading vlog where I'm going to be doing a video that I mentioned a couple of months ago. So I posted, I think back in May, a video going through every book series that I'm currently reading. And I mentioned there that I basically want to do a series on my channel where I finish all the series that I've started because one of my goals for this year is to kind of finish the series that I've started because I'm in the middle of so many series. I believe I am currently in the middle of 18 so in today's video I think I'm going to knock out some of the easier ones and hopefully knock out three series maybe and then in the next kind of episode of this series we'll kind of tackle the harder series is maybe just do like one uh, series per video if there's more than like one book or so but I've got some easy ones on here that I do think I can get to quite quickly and get through quickly so I thought I might as well do that in today's video I'm just going to pull up my spreadsheet here so I'll put in a screenshot of what my spreadsheet is currently looking like so again you can see 18 series two that I'm fully caught up on so we're not including those and that means that my net series for 2020 three is um on a plus five and um including the ones i've caught up is a plus seven so that is a lot of series but i do think that we can definitely bash this out knock some off so the ones i'm thinking of doing today is the housemaid series because there is just one more book in that series it's the housemaid secret i gave the first one four stars and i am excited to read the second because i found it very quick very easy to read i've got that on my kindle so i think that'll be easy and then we're going to pick the forward collection because that is a series of short stories and i've read four of the six um i gave them mixed reviews but i am still intrigued by the other two there is the last conversation by paul tremblay and also summer frost by blake crouch they are also on kindle unlimited so i'm going to be reading them on there and then finally we have the tea dragon society series this is a graphic novel series i've read the first one and i also have the tea dragon festival and the tea dragon tapestry to read i also can read these on my kindle app i read them on my phone just because it's um got colors whereas my kindle is black and white so that is what we're going to be going through today and yeah i'm basically really excited Excited. I think we can definitely um, hopefully finish this within like a week knock out three series read five books um, so yeah it'll be great for all of my goals and yeah let's just get straight into it okay so I am a good chunk into the housemaid now I am on page 138 which is 45% through the book and I don't like it <laughs> so bad I gave the first one four stars this one's like same vibes again very similar vibes but for some reason the writing's so much worse I don't know why I feel like the author like it almost feels like patronizing or something i feel like i'm being spoken to like i would not pick up on anything or like i wouldn't understand anything like things i think are hints for later are being dropped in so overtly and so obviously that would not have come up organically you've literally just give this like specific in-depth description about this one aspect of this one character and i'm like how is that it's not relevant and it's clearly going to come up later it just feels so forced and the writing and like the characters like the main character in this one is not likable at all she was in the last one ish she was reasonably likable in the last one she is like just mean in this one she's got like a boyfriend that she just doesn't even like and she's basically just stringing him along and like it's just so weird like i don't want to read about like her relationships and like things like that and like it just feels really heavy-handed as well with its message and i'm just i'm just not loving it i really don't think it should have had a sequel but yeah at the moment it's around a two star for me potentially worse but it's got such good ratings on goodreads i just can't gel with the writing for some reason but yeah i'm gonna try and finish this one off tonight i'm just not enjoying it which is so weird because i did like the first one i gave it like four stars so very weird the writing just feels so different i don't know why so i am a significant way further through i read like uh, at least 100 pages and i am now 70 percent of the way through i believe 78 percent of the way through i'm kind of like marching through this book and i've just finished part two and kind of gagged at the plot twist kind of gagged a little bit i can't lie i really thought it was gonna be way too similar to the last one but like i'm kind of like oh i was kind of like just thinking it was gonna be so boring and dull but like i'm kind of gagged by that like i can't lie it twisted and now i'm like oh okay interesting um i still don't think it's gonna be above a three 
unless like there's more twists but now i'm kind of like shit i'm also confused i'm like how does this add up but i get okay no 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 that actually makes sense of mine i'm just being slow but yeah i'm probably gonna finish this off tonight i'm gonna go meet some friends for some drinks i need to leave in like an hour and five minutes and i need like 20 minutes to get ready and i've got 45 minutes left in my book so like am i gonna make it that's the question but yeah i'm basically reading it now so yeah it's getting better it's getting better okay so i finished the housemaid ignore the dress this is like a very much a standing up dress because as soon as i sit down it looks really like it doesn't fit me but we'll ignore it i finished the housemaid and overall it was okay like i really just did not like it as much as i liked the first one unfortunately sorry i finished the housemaid secret obviously not the housemaid and yet there were definitely some good twists definitely a few points that i was shocked at and i do think it's extremely readable like i got through it so fast um like the first one they're just very very readable and i definitely think i would read freedom mcfadden's books again i just found like it was a little bit too similar to the first one but like in a worse way i just don't think i liked the main character in this one at this point and yeah overall i just wasn't loving it and one thing for me i just feel like although there were some twists and i it went away that partially i wasn't expecting um i do feel like it just all wrapped up a little bit too neatly if that makes sense like i feel like yeah just wrapped up too neatly and in a way that it just felt like i don't know childish in a way not not childish but like just i don't know i really don't know how to describe it but like it felt like kind of like my intelligence and like um ability to read between the lines as a reader was like so underestimated that everything was like spelled out wrapped up perfectly and i was like okay like i can pick up on context please that like, you don't need to explicitly tell me everything and how it's related and everything like that so yeah that was annoyed me a little bit but um i think it was more so the nature of the story rather than maybe the writing itself because i am really really keen to read more of freedom mcfan's books because i did enjoy the first one so i think this one was just a flop for me um but yeah i think tomorrow i'm gonna read the next two books in the ford collection but yeah um this is 2.5 a little bit of a sad start but hopefully we will improve at least i read it quickly it was very readable I will say that also the thing i said at the start that was really like explicitly focused on that had nothing to do with the story and i said it's definitely going to come back at the end it did definitely come back at the end so it was just too obvious it was still way too obvious um but yeah it's fine moving on it's in the past good vibes going forward Okay, I'm just getting ready for the day as you can tell and I am just starting Summer Frost by Blake Crouch. Um, I am like five minutes in, good so far. Let's see how it goes. The hillside and the cliffs that sweep down to the sea. Hey guys, so it's been two days since I last spoke to you and I ended up finishing both books in the Ford collection. I finished up both Summer Frost and The Last Conversation. So I will talk about The Last Conversation first because I've got it here. I read this on Kindle at my boyfriend's house. This is by Paul Tremblay who is I believe like a horror author and I really really enjoyed it. I gave this one four stars as well. This would probably sit third for me in my ranking of all five of them but definitely I think there's a big distinction for me between the bottom two and the top three because I really really enjoyed this one i won't kind of talk about which like aspect of sci-fi i guess this is about because i feel like that's a spoiler that's not something really that gets revealed until the end and like there's a bit of a twist and i really really liked it it's definitely very mysterious it's all written in second person so it's like you do this you will open your eyes blah, blah 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 and it's basically you have woken up in like a hospital room and you've been asleep for a while and you're basically like trying to learn how to walk again regaining your memories stuff like that um and there's like just a doctor that talks to you over the audio and it's very eerie very creepy um but i really really enjoyed it i thought it was really really great so yeah i gave it a four star it's a, like a lower less solid four star but like i think it's better than a 3.75 so i'm happy giving it a four star i really enjoyed it and i really enjoyed the writing style so i definitely um want to pick up more from paul tremblay in the future i've heard good things about his other books and i've been eyeing them up for a while um like I think it's a cabin in the woods and even more so uh, the pool bearers club so i definitely want to give those a go i really think i would potentially enjoy them because yeah this definitely lent a lot more horror than the other ones and i really had a great time with it and then i read the other one on my phone i listened to it via audiobook and it only took me i think i listened to it on 1.5 speed so it only took me like an hour and a half or so to read it so i finished it um, on the train after I listened to it getting ready and this was probably second to emergency skin my favorite in the um, whole thing it's basically about AI um, this uh, NPC basically in a video game has kind of 
like broken out almost like started going off script and becoming sentient and then this worker um at the company basically uh their job gets changed just basically developing this ai and yeah i really really enjoyed where it went i thought it was a really good story i was very gripped by it sometimes if i'm listening to an audiobook on the train I, like i won't really be feeling the vibes and i'll just want to listen to music instead but this one i was like really really excited to get through i didn't want to run out of time on my journey to finish it so i was having a really really good time with it so yeah that was also a four stars i gave that one four stars too um, and yeah, really, really enjoyed this one. I thought it was great. I did start it uh, a while ago, I think, after I read the first three books I started it, and then I kind of never continued on with it. Um, but I'm really glad I did because it was great, like really, really excellent, well written, and I definitely potentially want to pick up another book from Blake Crouch. I believe the author um, of this one, Blake Crouch, was actually like the curator of the whole collection. So yeah, really, really enjoyed it. I think he's written Dark Matter, which I've heard is good. So I definitely potentially will pick that one up. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, I know N.K. Jemison wrote like the fifth season trilogy. So I'll probably pick that one up from him. But yeah, if you have any other recommendations by those three authors, then do let me know. Um, but yeah, really, really good. I'm really, really glad I continued on because these were like two really, really solid reads and short stories slash novellas. So definitely would recommend. I think my ratings of the five would go uh, Emergency Skin, Summer Frost, The Last Conversation, and then Arc, and then Randomize, um, which I didn't really like that much. It's actually a six book collection. I just completely forgot about Amor Tal's book, You Have Arrived at Your Destination, which I believe I gave two stars. So it's kind of on par with Randomize for me. I'd put it maybe slightly above, so in fifth place. Um, but yeah, clearly it was a little bit forgettable. But yeah, I did read that last year, so yeah. Goes Emergency Skin, Summer Frost, Last Conversation, um, Arc, You Have Arrived at Your Destination, Randomize. So yeah, overall really really pleased that I did get round to reading this and another series ticked off and finally i think we're going to end with the tea dragon society and the tea dragon tapestry i'm not sure which order they go in which one's the second which one's the third i know the second one is a prequel so yeah really excited for that i'll probably read that today i won't read it on my kindle on like my physical kindle because it's colored and this one's obviously black and white so i will just be reading it on my kindle app on my phone but i'm gonna get around to them tonight i think i'll probably be done within an hour with both of them but yeah super duper excited to get those done so yeah very successful little portion update for right now and yeah very pleased enjoyed both of them and excited to read more I just finished the first, um, well, the second book in the Tea Dragon series, which was the Tea Dragon Festival, which was so cute. I really liked it. I don't really have too much to say. It's very short. It's a graphic novel. It's just so sweet and cute, and I love it. So I think I'm going to give it maybe like a 3.5, 3.75. I don't think I liked it quite as much as the first one. My favourite bits about it is the like little tea dragons, and I think they're so cute, and there was less of the tea dragons in this one. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to go on to the next one. I think I'm going to just jump straight into it. That literally took me like 20 minutes to read really not long at all um but yeah so cute and now i'm going to start with the third and final one in the series which is the tea dragon tapestry so yeah super cute and yeah i'm gonna start it now okay so i just finished the tea dragon tapestry and it was so cute i think i preferred that to um the second one but not as much as the first so i think the first one i gave four stars the second one the tea dragon festival would probably be a 3.5 and then the tea dragon tapestry the one i just read would probably be a 3.75 so i'm gonna round that one up to a uh, four on goodreads but yeah i really enjoyed it and again that literally took me 25 minutes to read i got through it so fast and that is another series ticked off my spreadsheet i believe it's done now i believe it was just the little three that seemed like a really cute little um ending to the series it had an epilogue as well which the other books didn't so yeah i think that definitely rounds it out but yeah it was so cute and i really enjoyed it so yeah that's uh me done finishing off three series bish bash bosh i got this done in less than a week so i'm very very pleased about that um yeah i'll catch up with you tomorrow to kind of chat about all my opinions and round out this video but yeah very pleased um very successful little video project for me and i'm very proud of myself for getting three series off my spreadsheet so that was the first episode to my finishing all the book series that i'm currently reading series so you can see now what my spreadsheet is looking like we are up to 15 currently reading series um, and I'm very pleased with that I definitely think in the next few weeks some of the videos I've got planned not even related to this series will be finishing off some of the duologies here which is super exciting and I think maybe in a month or so 
we'll do another video maybe knocking out one of these series and then I think subsequent videos will have to be me kind of just reading bits from everywhere because there are some really long series on here so we are now at a net plus two and including the court up plus four so yeah very excited about that we only really need to knock off two more and then we'll be all caught up which is incredible um and then maybe we can even bash it down below my starting point which would be great so yeah overall to round up we read the housemaid's secret which i didn't love unfortunately um as i mentioned in the video it was just about the writing really and i just didn't really gel with it like I did the first one so I gave that a 2.5 then I read both Summer Frost and The Last Conversation which I gave both four stars they were very very good and I really enjoyed them comparatively especially to the other books in that collection and then I read The Tea Dragon Festival and The Tea Dragon Tapestry which I gave 3.5 and 3.75 respectively so overall a reasonably successful vlog I definitely think the forward collection was the most successful out of this so I definitely would recommend that if you are looking for some sci-fi short stories but yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give a like down below hit subscribe turn the bell to join a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video if you watch my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they linked up in the card from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye